No, okay, okay, I'll give you a Patting you down. Patting you down, making sure you don't have guns. Okay, okay, but don't drop my phone, please. That's a thousand dollar phone. Hi, it's me, Kiki. The first First Amendment audit in video I looked at was from this idiot. And it seems to me that he is one of those people that just doesn't seem to learn. So let's catch up with Mr. Audit in America at the DMV in Connecticut and see who he has decided he was going to upset when he woke up this morning. His parents must be so proud. Tidy! It's a publicly accessible lobby. Do you have tickets for service? What is it? A publicly we don't. Accessible I'm just lobby. asking about tickets. Uh, no, we don't. A public place, no. No, no this is this a, a, is this a private have, place? It's state property. Okay, who funds? I'm not saying nothing about the cameras. Okay, who funds the state? I just, I just want to know if you have tickets or if you're waiting for somebody. Well, this guy has clearly dealt with these types of morons before. Notice how he pointed out that he had absolutely no issues with the camera. Smart fella. Well, we, we're, we're here on official business, yes. For what's the official, are you part of a business? We're, we're press. News organization? Yes. Can I see documents? Um, are we in next Nazi when Germany or something? When we're done conducting our business, we will give you all the information that you need. At Correct. Time. Correct. Okay. Well, do you guys have tickets though for service? Well, we're not getting service from them. We're working so on a. Service? We're working on, like we said, we're press. We're working on a story on the DMV. You actually have to show them your credentials. When Excuse you me, sir. So when two start, when yeah. two grown men are speaking. When two when two grown men are no, speaking, you, you don't interrupt. Two grown men. Do grown men claim that harassing civil servants is their job? It's one grown man talking to one whiny little boy. The first. What's the First Amendment, man? Freedom of the press, freedom of speech. We're working on a story on the DMV. I don't want to be on the show. So you should, you should, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be in public. Which is fine. So we'll let you know who we are when we're done conducting business, sir. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So call, call, call whoever you want, sir. You feeling they? You feel breaching the peace for, for. For today's society, you guys should understand that. Now, obviously, here in the UK, we don't have a DMV. We have the DVLA, the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency. And I visited it many times, along with other government-run buildings. And the one thing that they all have in common is how quiet they always are. And I can't help but notice that your presence at this DMV office seems to have increased the ambient volume considerably. So yeah, I'd say disturbing the peace is a fair assessment of your behaviour. And whether the guy in the black jacket is justified in calling the police is irrelevant. Well, it's irrelevant for me anyway. I need him to call the police so I can make a video about it. And did you notice how brave Mr. America is when threatened with having the cops called on him? Wow. <laughs> He's just so manly. There's no privacy in public. And you're, and you're not helping this gentleman by just showing him your credentials. We told him we will. But this gentleman over here is wearing a thin blue line, which is a, a desecration of the flag. So I don't really trust him right now. Yes, it is. You're always supposed to wear the American flag. Did you swear to protect the thin blue line or the, or, 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 or the Constitution, sir? So why are you carrying a thin blue line uh, patch on you? It's a free country, but it's a violation of flag code. Yeah, violation of flag code. Everybody knows that, and I'm sure you have never violated the flag code, have you, Enrique? Bum, 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 bum. Oh. You're a security officer, you're carrying the American flag on the other side, which is okay. It's not fair. But the thin blue line, it's embarrassing. We're working, we're working on a story, we're not here to create a disturbance. La yeah, that's exactly what you're there to do, because that's what you do. And yeah, yeah, we know the First Amendment protects you, blah blah, freedom of speech, blah blah blah, freedom of the press, etc, etc. I don't have to tell you jump and you have to jump, that's not how it goes. You don't have to tell me to jump. Exactly, so you don't have to... gets it. No, no. Do we have to show I press would, finishes? I would, I would explain to him, so at basically when you're in... This is a public place, funded by the by the public, it's correct? A public place. So if I was behind the counter, it would be a problem. If I'm if I'm in a public I, hold, on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Yes, absolutely. If I'm, in a, if I'm in a publicly accessible lobby, yeah. if it's public, you don't have a right to privacy. You have to create your own. Privacy. I absolutely understand that. So I'm in a private, a public setting. Exactly. So but I'm not trying you to don't have business here. We do. We do. No, we have official business. Right. Any, you haven't provided no, official documentation. But, but we don't. But we don't have to. Is acting like a complete tool in a public place an official business? I mean, I know that you're free to do it, but should you? And more importantly, what's in it for you? Right, I've got it. It's for the views and subscribers, not for some noble cause then. It would seem that acting like a complete there we are then is way more profitable than pointing and laughing at them.
dumb. You said I don't have it. I don't have to. Yeah. See that sign right there? What does that say? The MB prohibits, the MB prohibits all that's conduct, either verbal or physical, that's that is either what does it say? abusive, threatening, belligerent, which this is. Okay. Does it say anything? Intimidating, which this could be. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. He, he how, or, how, how, or it's not your film saying business business within, within the workplace. None of that, none of that, none of that, none of that says anything about video recording, sir. Well, no, it doesn't specify video recording, but to be fair, it's not the video recording that's the problem here, is it? It's what the act of you video recording is now called in, which is a disturbance to the DMV conducting their business and you are being belligerent, like a spoiled kid trying to get his own way. You just said that you had no problem. You just said, is that like a law? It's a... It's a policy, right? Policies don't trump your rights. It is a public place, sir. This is not a public place. This is a public place. It's, it's, which is publicly funded. If you were at like a park, it's publicly, it's, it's publicly funded, sir. We're, we're, I'm not trying to be rude to you. I'm just trying to explain to you. We absolutely have the right to be here. There's no, there's no, there's no breach of peace. There's no breach of peace. If we, if we were with NBC 10, and if we had a, so, so, sir, so if, I, so, so if I had, so, so if I had a whole bunch of makeup on. And the ten thousand dollar camera, then you believe me, right? Well, they have and then you and then you and then you have no problem. If I'm if I'm a sellout, if I'm if I'm a so so if I so if I become a sellout to corporate media to corporate media, because they're all fake. That's what they do for a living. They're all fake. Am I a sellout because I'm a truck driver? Is he? And this way of thinking really aggravates me. Thinking that all mainstream media is bad or that anything mainstream is bad. And why is it always conspiracy theorists and other internet idiots that think? that way and before you throw your toys out of your pram i know that there's a lot of shady behavior within corporate america and governments all over the world but not everything is evil and out to get us and thinking that way you must be a pretty miserable existence well you so you know you're calling me a you respect because you, you respect know. more corporate media which means you're brainwashed sir. no i'm not brainwashed at yeah, all Believe because me, you I've have no you guys for years you have no problem with turn with around, corporate sell this to abc or nbc or you have some, some, no sir which then we, you're a seller because you're I'm, selling it to a bigger corporation no i'm independent Absolutely. i'm independent. independent what are you going to do with it I'm gonna publish it. Okay, what are you gonna publish on? What 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 site? I want to know. I'll let you know when I'm done. No, I told I you. I want to know now. But that's the problem, sir. You you you're not my father. He doesn't want to tell him where he's gonna publish it because it's right here on YouTube, owned and operated by Google one of the biggest corporations in America. Sell out. And if anyone ever had anything to be grateful for, it's the guy in the green hoodie. I bet he's bursting with gratitude that he isn't your father. Gentlemen, he seems very cordial. However, he pointed out the policy of this building. The policy? Right. right. I follow law. I don't follow policy. He no, follows. actually, policy hold on, hold on, hold on. the law. Hold on, hold on. No. Oh, no. Policy no. Controlled the law. So Never. So Never. Less. Law is the law. So if, no. it, if there's a sign that says, it says no hands. I can make a thousand so signs no that say, that say whatever. That doesn't mean if I, if I tell you that you're not allowed to have a handgun inside a building and I own that, the building, then you cannot have it. If there's a law, if that's a law, then you're exactly like, if it's policy. I can tell you to go pound sand. Do you know how many laws there are in the state of Connecticut? Probably a lot. A lot. There's a couple hundred thousand. You know, I, I, I agree with you. Connecticut and, and is very absolutely. strict. But there's no laws that say you can't film in a public place. Now, obviously, I'm not offering any sort of legal advice here. But I was able to find out these two things. Thing one is that most states have laws, including Connecticut, whose recording law stipulates that at least one party's consent is required to record an in-person conversation. Failure to comply with this law is regarded as eavesdropping. And thing two, Connecticut video recording law says it's illegal to maliciously photograph, film or record images of another person without the consent or knowledge of that person being recorded. And I know he would argue that it isn't malicious, but when he goes out of his way just to prove a point, then there is definitely intent. And whether that intent is malicious or not would be for a court to decide anyway, wouldn't it? But I will add that the definition of malicious is talk or behavior that is intended to harm people or their reputation or embarrass or upset them. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Oh, so you don't answer questions, but you expect everybody else to feel comfortable. Well, with at least doing. in this building, yes, That's because because so this these work, people work for us. So work and you're on the job and the these they work for all of us. We're all taxpayers, right? Correct. Exactly. They, here, correct. Right? Correct. Exactly. Correct. And we and we and we pay a lot in taxes. So right now he goes on and on like this for a long time, but end the stage left. End the stage left. The police. Let's see how much longer his bravery lasts. How you, do, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. 
What's going on? We're here working on a story on the on the department motor vehicle. We haven't been walking around. You guys just have your ideas on it? No chance? For what? Uh, just so I can know who I'm talking to. Well, I'm Enrique. Nice to meet you. Um, what's your, what's your name? name? I'm Enrique. Enrique? Yes, sir. What's your name? I'm Chuck. Chuck, nice to meet you. Chase, nice to meet you. How's it going, guys? We're, do you guys have your ideas on you, but real quick? Um, um, so I, I do I do have my ID, but I'm not suspected of committing any crimes. I'm not being disorderly. I'm just working on a story. I'm acting as press. I'm working on a story on the Department of Motor Vehicles. Okay. Not impeding the business here. I'm not being disorderly. Mm -hmm. Some. He's not too happy about being on video, but he's he's One being... He's, that he feels correct. Like he's I guess that gentleman that feels, left felt ready. uncomfortable. Where are you guys but, from? Well, are you guys from Connecticut? Are you from? No, we're not. We're not from here. We're just working on a story about uh, about about this Department of Motor Vehicle. We have no ill intention. Okay. Well, we why, absolutely why have. You to this, to we this, uh, specific, you know, DMV. We had a lot of requests. Uh, we have a lot of requests for people to uh, for us to make a video on 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 this building right here, and we decided to show up and peacefully, you know, quietly. You have like a YouTube channel or something? Is that what? Yeah. You guys like yeah. YouTube? Do you guys have your idea on you? But I mean, I'm not suspected of committing a crime, right? No, but you are. Well, Am I being detained? Okay, so. So no, you seem like a nice guy and a knowledgeable person. So we have freedom of the press, right? That's, that's what we're claiming. We we're engaged. Correct, and we, and, we, and we understand that. And we understand that, but we're bringing, we're bringing awareness on freedom of the press. There's a, pro there's a publicly funded place. We're not impeding. No issue. No issue. There's no issue. Yeah, yeah, somebody wasn't feeling comfortable about us, re us recording. Just, just inform them that. And there it is. That single sentence should have been the only cue you needed to stop what you're doing. Someone you were recording said they weren't comfortable being recorded, and if you were as nice a guy as you're trying to portray yourself as, you would have just stopped immediately. Unless, of course, it's all a facade and you're actually a complete dick. How you doing, sir? Uh, nothing much. We're just working on a video. You're just about the, on a video? Yeah. Yes, sir. Quietly. Violent. Some people weren't feeling comfortable. We're trying to explain to them we have freedom of the press. It's the First Amendment, right? We do this for a living. Accessible Publicly accessible place. State building. We're not creating a disturbance. We're not. We're not even. No, no, no talking. We've been just. We haven't even been walking around. No talking. You haven't shut up once. Even the guy with you has had to tell you to stop. Yeah. We're actually on our way. These two officers right here that have been extremely cordial. They know. They can explain to you everything that you want to hear. But right now, you might want to stop. Stop what? <laughs> what you're telling me. Look at that police officer's face. He does not look amused, does he? And does that smug, I know I'm right, laugh <laughs> bug anyone else, or is it just me? But cool, laugh it up, Enrique. Because it won't last long, the guy in the grey shirt, I think he's a state trooper, does not look like he's in the mood for any of your crap. We're trying to, pre we're trying to bring awareness on freedom of the press. We have to. We absolutely have. As long as we're not being loud, we're not creating a disturbance, we're not impeding the business, and we're not just, you know, bothering anyone. We absolutely have the right to be here and work on a story and publish it. So. No, actually, it's trooper. Trooper. Okay, state police. Sorry about that. Correct. Trooper, Are, you're not state police, correct? Okay. Cool. So we were actually on our way out. Am I being detained? Oh, I'm, I'm Enrique. I've already told him. Yes, sir. But I have my ID. But I have, if I'm not being, but if I'm not being suspected of committing any crimes, for am I being detained? Okay. So if I, if I'm not being detained, am I free to leave? Go ahead. So why would you need? So why would you need? My, why would you need my ID, sir? See who you are. But sir, we have the right. We have the. We have. A, what's our Fourth Amendment right? Oh, please, somebody tell me that that's the constitutional right to shut up. Damn, it isn't, is it? It's the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures. Got it. I already told you who I am. I already told you your name in my channel. If you do a little bit of research, you find out my name, everything. I already told you everything. Would you give me your last name? Why would you? Why would you? I told you. I'm auditing America. You need. You guys need to look me up. Okay. I'm a little bit well known. Look me up. Ooh, cringe tastic. I'm audited in America, and I'm a little bit well known. I don't know why I made him sound like that. <laughs> Let's do something. Let's, let's, let's do something. Let's do something. How about we step outside? You guys are causing a disturbance. How about we step? Let's go outside. Let's step outside. Let's step outside and speak. Yeah, yeah, please, but don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me. Why, why are you touching me? Why are you, why are you touching me, though? 
You know, it's, it's disrespectful, Trooper. Putting my hand on you. Yeah, but, but that's... I, how, how would you feel if I put my hands on you, sir? Yeah, you could have asked us to leave, and we could have been like, okay. Am I hearing things? Did the other guy just say you could have just asked us to leave? Really? You could have asked us to leave and we would have said okay? You're really now gonna claim that all anybody needed to do was just ask you to leave? Where's your ID? Am I being detained? No. I'm investigating. I already told him my name. I told him who we are. I told him what news organization we represent. Okay. 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 Sorry. 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 Good for you. Good for you. Oh. All right, stand over here. No problem. I'm not laughing. So now the guy he's with, I think it's a channel called Alan Reports, takes over the filming because Mr. Ordered in America just completely folds and gives the cops all the information they've been asking for, you know, about why he's there and what he's there for. I already really told him my name. I told him who we are. I told him what news organization uh, we represent. No, okay, no, okay, I'll give you I'm patting you down. Okay. Patting you down, making sure you don't have a gun behind okay. hand. Okay, but don't drop my phone, please. That's a thousand dollar phone. You can pass it down. Channels? Yes, sir. What is it? It's called Auditing America. No, I don't want to be bitchy. But what the hell is he wearing? Did they just call in here on the way to some sick, twisted, fancy dress party? Looks like he was going as a used tampon. Yeah. Can you believe this, guys? So is this guy? Is this guy? What, who is this guy? He's he, dude. Did you just did you see what? Did you guys just see? I, I was over there talking. Bro, that. So you guys are working for a story? Like, we were working on a story on the old Saybrook DMV, yeah. and we walked in, we stood in that little area over there. Like, it, this guy seems like he's having a very bad day today, but I, I understand, I understand, but I want to explain to him that, like, because I want to keep it the peace here. I, want, I, just want to, I, just, I just want to explain to him that, like, we were, we were actually being nicer than what we could have been. You know what I'm saying? And we were, in, but long story short, um... Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm sorry, what was your question, bro? I was just curious, I'm just curious about your story, that's all. Oh, uh, it, it's just a, it's a First Amendment audit on the... Uh, what you were telling me about your YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, I, what I do is I tr we travel the country conducting First Amendment audits or um, stories on politicians or... We, like he was saying earlier, we went to, we spoke with, we called out uh, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, his, uh, his, his brother. Um, all of them. You're not being <laughs> Dude, that, that guy is, that guy is crazy, man. Do you understand it? If he, if, if he's having, if he's having, if he's having a bad day, if he's, he's not having a bad day, he's not doing anything wrong. It's well within our rights to ask for you guys' identification. What an absolute hero. <laughs> all right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blind 